Hello and welcome to Quality Professional Consulting Group YouTube channel. My name is Ben Tomic and in this short video we're going to talk about the context of the organization is ISO 9001 standard. Okay, what is the intent of this requirement? To understand the external and internal issues that are relevant to the organization's purpose and strategic direction and that can affect either positively or negatively uh, the organization's ability to achieve the intended results of its quality management system. So, practically, context of the organization means to identify internal and external issues and list all interested parties and their needs and expectations. So, two things. Internal and external issues and list all interested parties and their needs and expectations. When we talk about the internal context, we mean things related to the organization itself. But the organization is not a separate entity. It is surrounded by the environment and uh, this is external context of the organization. This has to be, ta uh, be taken into account when we consider uh, all factors that could uh, influence the organization and its ability to achieve intended results. Organization must consider internal and external issues that can impact its strategic objectives and planning of quality management system. Organization also needs to evaluate itself and its context. Organization needs to define influences of various elements on organization and how they reflect on the quality management system. And ISO 9001-2015 standard does not prescribe the method for determining the context of the organization. Okay, so what are we supposed to do to address this requirement properly? We have to identify internal and external issues. We also have to, uh, have to identify interested parties and their needs and expectations. We have to document the context of the organization, these two things, the external and uh, the internal and external issues, and uh, list uh, all interested parties and their needs and expectations, and to continually uh, monitor and review uh, those uh, uh, requirements that we identified. Okay, how to determine the internal and internal uh, uh, the internal and external issues. Uh, the practical way is to use SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities at, and threats. So uh, uh, internal issues, uh, internal uh, uh, related things are strengths uh, and weaknesses uh, while the uh, external are opportunities and threats. Uh, strengths and opportunities are, are helpful, while the uh, weaknesses and trends are harmful. Okay, so uh, when we uh, brainstorm possible strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats, that could help us to identify all internal issues related to our organization, while when we brainstorm uh, the uh, uh, opportunities and threats in our SWOT analysis that could help us to identify all external issues related to our organization. This is what we need to do in, or in order to properly address the context of our, our organization. How to determine all interested parties? What are inter interested parties anyway? Okay, it's the organization itself. Then output, our output is our customers or end users. Input to our organization uh, are our external providers, our suppliers, our vendors, our contractors, our partners, our register for our certification. Then people in uh, our organization, that's very important interested party. Then owners, stakeholders, financial institutions, 
statutory and regulatory authorities. These are all very important interested parties that we have to take into account when we consider context of the organization. But also the organization is not a separate entity. It's surrounded by the environment, by the community, government, neighborhood, our competitors. So these are all interested parties that we may take into consideration when we define context of the organization. On the end, how, uh, a list, uh, how uh, the list of all interested parties and their needs and expectations should look like. So we have to identify all interested parties uh, some, somewhere. It has to be documented information. For example, customers and users and their needs and expectations. What, uh, uh, in what our customers or end users are interested in, right? What's, what's the most important thing that uh, uh, they care about? Uh, definitely, it's good quality, competitive price, on-time delivery, innovation, customer support, excellent service, uh, owners, uh, stakeholders, they care about the profit, uh, the growth, expansion, transparency. People in the organization, they uh, are interested in a good working environment, job security, recognition, rewards, good salaries, benefits, training, promotion, and so on and so on. Uh, our suppliers, our partners, our external providers, they are interested in mutual uh, benefits, sustainable business, continuity. Uh, community, government, statutory and regulatory authorities as interested uh, party, they are interested in un environmental protection, ethical behavior, compliance with uh, statutory and regulatory requirements, paying taxes, that's definitely government, and so on and so on. So this, is so, this will be pretty much everything related to context of the organization. Uh, thank you for watching this video and if you want to stay informed about this particular uh, matter, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.